What's up everybody? Welcome to EasyLiving.com. My name is Andy and this is Paul. Today, today people, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but today we're going to talk about what you look for in a good appetizer. Yeah. Yesterday, myself and Andy went to P.F. Chang's, which is an awesome restaurant, by the way. And uh, for our appetizers, we had the dynamite shrimp. Now, if you haven't had dynamite shrimp, I suggest you do, because it'll absolutely blow your mind, hence the name. But we wanted to know what other people look for in a great appetizer. That's correct. Now, P.F. Chang's, don't let the gigantic horses at the front of the restaurant scare you away. Enter and you shall experience a delicious appetizer. The dynamite shrimp was amazing, let me tell you. But the biggest mistake people make when ordering an appetizer is that their eyes are bigger than their stomachs. So, make sure your appetizer is a small portion. That's the point of an appetizer, guys, is it's a lead up to your main meal. So, you don't wanna have a massive appetizer that gets you all full, and then when your main meal comes, which could be like a great steak, mm. you're too full to enjoy it. So, keep your portion small, just enjoy the flavors, have a little bit of a nibble, which leads on to your main meal. It's always good to ask your waiter or waitress how big the appetizer is before you order it. And make sure the appetizer is less than your meal. Because at some restaurants, the appetizers are actually priced more. That's a good point. It's crazy. Okay, the second thing you need to remember is your appetizer is a lead up to the main meal. It's not the main meal itself. Choose something that's got a little bit of flavor to it. It's something you're gonna really enjoy, something nibbly. Exactly, something with the zest. But remember, it's a compliment for the main meal. That's right. Part of your appetizer complimenting your main dish is that it should go with your main dish. You don't want to have an extremely ex spicy appetizer that'll burn off all your taste buds and then have a nice steak for your main dish. You really want it to lead up to your main dish, a nice smooth transition, and your meal will be that much more enjoyable. Exactly. You don't want to experience some sort of hot curry or hot appetizer yeah. that will... <laughs> leave you the whole night going like, <laughs> like this and then as Andy says when you have your steak you can't taste anything it's just not you're just gonna ruin that amazing steak okay the dynamite shrimp we're gonna give you the recipe and you'll be able to make that at home so you don't have to go to PF Chang's to get it although they do make the best dynamite shrimp see if you can up that though in your own home thanks for tuning in you're watching easyliving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle